Yes, so, Mark, today you are challenging our taste buds with something different in the Beko kitchen. You've gone meat-free for Monday. You've never done tofu before here or a tofu curry, so why the change? Well, why not? You okay. know, I think, a, I think a lot of people think tofu is, like, bland and boring. Yeah. That's what Mel was saying before. Right. So, uh, so we've got a recipe to prove it wrong. Nice. You know, we've got a beautiful uh, vegetable curry with tofu in I'm going to show you how you can get a nice colour on it and get lots of flavour into this tofu. You know, that looks beautiful. And there's a lot more vegetarians around, mm. so I'm sure a lot of people are going to appreciate this. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. A little bit different today, as, Mark, we are using tofu. So this is full of protein, a really good way with the vegetables and the tofu to get a healthy meal. Exactly. And tasty. Tasty, yeah. yes, because a lot of people say that tofu isn't tasty. We're going to make it tasty today. You just watch. <laughs> Okay, so what do I we need to do I don't know what you're going to say. Can you make this recipe with chicken? <laughs> yes, you can, if you want. <laughs> well, no, but a lot of people, you know, there's lots of different types of tofu, isn't there? Yeah, so talking about tofu, you just want to make sure you've got a firm one, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to start chopping some vegetables, but we'll just talk, talk about this. So this is actually right. a firm one, so if you sort of press it, it's quite sort of spongy, and once we fry it or start uh, cooking it, it's going to hold together. Okay, nice. But then just a little tip for you as well. We're just going to sort of do it into a little dice. Yeah. Um, and then just put it in a colander over a bowl mm. and just some bit, a little bit of kitchen towel. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> a little bit of kitchen towel in there. Yes. And then just leave it there for about sort of 10, 10, 20 minutes, you know, just as you're prepping all the other vegetables. And any excess liquid will just come off and yeah. make it even firmer. Right, because I can see that happening here with this towel. The yeah, stuff yeah. that you so put you in all, earlier, yeah. it's all sponging it out, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, so that's going to help you. OK, nice. Sweet. I've got some more questions about that in just a minute. But anyway, what are you doing okay, now? OK, right, so I'm just going to start chopping some vegetables. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this in a, a, a two sort of pronged attack for this curry. I'm going to start sautéing all the vegetables there. Yes. I'm going to... Cook the uh, tofu separately, sauté that in, just so we've got a nice hot pan and we can just get a really good colour on it. Yes. Make the sauce or the curry around the vegetables mm -hmm. and then we'll add it in a little bit later. OK, two-pronged attack. Like two-pronged uh, attack, yeah. Great right. colours you've got today too. Well, let's say we've got a green curry, so Thai green curry and lots of green vegetables. So we've got broccoli, um, mange too, beans, uh, green chilies as well, spring onions. But, I mean, you know, you can use anything you want, you know, just a nice selection of vegetables. Nice. And, the, and then the whole thing, again, with, um, with this dish, you know, it's really fast, it's full of flavour, and we want these green vegetables to stay green, OK? OK, So cool. you don't want to cook it too long, and then not cooking it too long makes it really fast. OK, so we're just dicing everything here, really, yeah, yeah. We? chopping the broccoli into quarters. Yeah, just into quarters, into nice pieces, you know? You don't want to chop it too small, and you don't want to chop it too large either. OK, good luck. Put the oil in the right pan there. I just lucky. Oh yes, very lucky. <laughs> right, okay. so I'm gonna start off with a little bit, little bit of red onion. Yeah, yeah. you can use some white onion if you want. Um, and then we've got some flavourings as well. So kaffir lime leaf. Nice. So this is really good. So this is great. A little bit expensive. You can grow it in the garden, which is good. Every time you prune it, pop the uh, leaves in the freezer. Keep them in the freezer. And you okay. just pull them out when you want. Nice. Your neighbour might have one too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just. <laughs> Let's go over and borrow them. I know, I put a post on Facebook the other day looking for a Fijoa tree because they're really expensive at the moment, but there's streets that are just lined with them. You can just turn up with a bucket and take your own oh, for definitely, free. Definitely, definitely. So do the same with these leaves. OK, cool. Yes, yeah, so, so, so pop that in as well. I've got a little bit of garlic as well. I'm mm -hmm. just going to slice up and I'm going to start cooking that out. OK. And this is just going to start giving us lots of flavour. Right, I'm going to put the beans, munch too, and broccoli in there as well. And some of the um, mushrooms. And then all we want to do is just start sautéing that, start cooking that. Okay. I'll slice some chilli as well. Nice. So we want it to soften, but we still want that texture in there. OK, cool. We still need a little bit of crunch. Yeah, yeah. Add yeah. a little bit of chilli in. So you just basically add in all these flavours in again. It's smelling good already. Well, it's good, and that's just the vegetables. Yeah. We're not even started cooking the tofu yet. Well, well, a lot of people say that tofu can be tasteless, so do you need the vegetables to be tasty so it enhances the tofu, or do you do something to the tofu to make it tasty? Make a really tasty sauce. There you go. <laughs> it's as easy as that. And I've got some more questions about the tofu, too, because there is a way you can make it sort of feel like chicken, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I'm going I'm to ask you about that. Right now, though, enough to feed a cheerleading squad. Cameron's going to enjoy this, I think. We are cooking tofu, and it's a tofu curry. So our vegetables are done, our tofu's been resting. Now the curry part. Right, so we're going to make the sauce around here. Yep. So um, you can make it yourself if you want, a green curry paste. Yep. Or just go to the supermarket, buy one, or an Asian store, you know. Yep. They're actually really good these days. So a couple of spoons in there. 
and then you just want to sort of saute that off a bit for a couple of minutes, bring out all the flavours in the paste, and it's going to start sort of coating all the vegetables. And we've got a bit of vegetable stock and a bit of coconut milk as well. Okay. Yeah. In here, I've got a nice hot pan, a little bit of oil, get it hot, and then we're going to saute off the uh, tofu. Tofu. Okay, so you'd have to be quite delicate doing this, wouldn't you, with the tofu? Well, yeah, I mean, it is tofu, not like a piece of meat, so right. be, be a little bit careful. But, you know, you'll be surprised how it does keep together. Like another way of, a really nice way of uh, cooking tofu is, um, you know, just coating it in a light sort of seasoned um, flour. Okay. And then deep yeah. fry it. So nice. it's got a really thin sort of crispy batter. And then it's, uh, you've got this beautiful texture on the inside. It's great. And then like a really nice dipping sauce. Brilliant. Look, I think a lot of people are scared to try tofu, but it is such a good alternative if you do it right. And I heard this rumour that if you put tofu in the freezer, something you can do is take it out and then because it's sucked all that sort of frozen, all that moisture in it, when you eat it after you've taken it out of the freezer and cooked it, it's got the texture of chicken. Would you mm. agree with that? Uh, I've never tried, never tried that, tried it, but okay. uh, yeah, I'll try everything once. Don't worry, mate, you just leave all the cooking tips to me. <laughs> <laughs> going to ban you from going on Google. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's true. That's, that's why we have you, Mark. I don't believe everything I read. I just believe what I taste, and yours always tastes good. <laughs> Okay. Right, okay, so let's let's get a little bit of a um, little bit of liquid in here now. So just chicken stock, bring it up to the boil and start dissolving all that paste into the chicken stock. Okay, good. Work. And then we'll just um, we'll just reduce that slightly, and then we're going to add some coconut milk. But you can see the tofu here. Yeah, that's the colour we're looking for. Yeah, you, you know you've got a nice colour. It, it's creating like a really fine little skin on there, and that's going to help uh, keep everything together as well. Once we add it all to the curry. Okay. But you can just, you know, all we're doing is getting a bit of colour and just warming it up, you know, so you can see how fast this dish is. Okay, great. Coconut milk? A little bit of coconut milk in there. Oh, that smells so good. Bring it good. back. Give it a season now. If you need a little bit more paste, pop it in. Okay. You know, if you want some coriander, pop it in there. More right. lime, add it. You know, it's all your personal preference. There you go. Got the tofu in there. Pop it in there. And then we'll just cook that down, just so it's sort of nice and thick, coats everything. Check the seasoning and that's it. We've got some coriander just to finish it. A little bit of lime juice if you want and boom. Look at that. It's, so, it's so fast and you can cook that in there and it won't all mash up like, um, like a potato would. And so good. A meat-free Monday meal for you. Such a good source of protein. Smells incredible and we will get to eat it a little later on. And we've come to the end of the show. So, Mark, bring this food over. Yes. Here's the tofu. Oh, oh look at that. Nice. Um, what are you going to be doing tomorrow? I've got a pumpkin pasta on the menu tomorrow.